Hey traders, John Howell here. Let's have a look at what the market's doing right now. Mining stocks are really taken off, really taken off. That metals as well too. Metals, miners is really, really starting to take off. What's happening with the stock market right now um, and what's going on through there as well too. Before I do start guys, um, I've just created a brand new free trading course. I've actually broken it down into four parts. First one is the foundations, with the foundation, what actually goes into becoming a good trader, the characteristics, the biggest mistakes you're making and stuff like that. Part number two is the chart reading mastery. This is about using techniques that's been working since the 1950s. Advanced chart reading techniques. This is techniques that I've learned from my multiple, multiple seven figure mentor myself um, about really understanding that the charts itself. And also part number four is to put it, to put it all together is my top chart, is my top sort of system that I use every single day to trade the markets. And I'm giving that away for free, guys. So go to John's free gift and you can grab the, that full part right now in that there. Um, so traders, let's have a look at the actual stock market and we'll get to the metals and miners as well too. So um, the stock market itself, okay? So the stock market itself, one thing I'm noticing when it comes to this here is I'm noticing that we're still not, I, I still believe we have one more push to the upside. One more push to the upside, right? So we have this level up here on the NASDAQ. This is the NASDAQ here. So I believe we have one more push to the upside, which I believe is going to be a fake out. Um, and then we're probably likely to get a pullback because I, I, I still am expecting some form of a pullback. And the reason why I say that guys is because if you remember back with the gold chart, let me bring up the gold chart here for a minute. Remember back with the gold chart back here. So with the gold chart itself, right? We had this move up, then we had this pullback through here, right? So this is exactly what, what the stock market looks like right now. So I'm expecting this to happen on the actual stock market, right? So a big move up and then an overall big pullback before we get going again as well too. Um, gold, very, 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 very strong move with gold today. Eh? Um, look at that go. So once 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 we have this very strong move to the upside for a while we end up getting and a pullback remember guys what is a pullback right what is, an upward trend is what high lows and higher highs right so what do we have here we have point through there point through there and then a point through these are pullbacks right so they're not changing trends they're just what's called resting phases or reset phases whatever you want to really call it right so they're just they're just different phases where the market resets right like through here this is just what a reset phase, a pullback phase for us to get going again, right? So, because when the market does too much, too much of a move up, we need to go through a bit of a resting phase, a bit of a pullback phase. So, if we go back to the stock market right now, we can see the exact same thing. So, if we do push up from here, right, we start to get a bit of a push to the upside. I believe that we, yeah, we could get a bit of a push to the upside, but then that's probably going to be a bit of a false breakout, I would say, before we get some form of a pullback, and then we really get going. And that's what you want to see, right? You don't want to see this thing just keep going vertical, because um, if you look at bubbles, what does a bubble look like, right? It goes vertical, and then it comes straight back down as well too. So we don't really want to be seeing that in the markets, right? Uh, we, or we don't, we, yeah, we don't want to be... Um, yeah, yeah, we don't want to be seeing that in the markets from, from what's happening there. Um, we want to see that we actually want to see like what gold's doing right now, right? Gold, really nice pullback. That's what we want to see in the stock market from there. So let's go have a look. That's, that's the NASDAQ. Let's have a look at the Dow Jones. And say, look at the Dow Jones, right? Dow Jones is what? Just a big, 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 big move up. We will get some form of a pullback, guys. Um, and uh, again, we just we, we don't we we don't want this thing to continue up as 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 like a, a lot more. Otherwise, then we're getting into bubble territory. We don't want to bubble. We want a nice good bull trend. Okay, looking at this fear and greed index here, we can see how we're still just below here. So we're not getting to the extreme greed yet in the stock market. Um, I think the mining sector and gold is taking a bit of thunder away from the stock market as well too. So that's what I'm seeing there when it comes to the. The fear and greed index and we can see what's happening through there and we're just right at this level here so that makes me believe that possibly we're going to push to a new high and if we do there's probably going to be some orders and some retail traders that um that are probably not educated and they'll probably take that before we get then that's probably going to be a false breakout before we get something like that happening move over now now through to the s p 500 right s p 500 and the same sort of thing for the s p 500 we have this as the sort of the ultimate high point 
So it makes me believe that we're probably likely to get one more push to the upside from there to there before we actually start to get a really big pullback from there to there. Makes sense? So that's what I'm seeing through there on the S&P 500 um, and, the, and the Dow from there. Let's go look at the gold. Now we'll go look at gold and silver. Gold, very, 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 very strong move. I was actually expecting a bit of a sideways movement first before we saw this, but really strong movement out of gold. Really, really, really strong movement. As you can see, if we go back to the weekly charts here, you can actually see that, right, we have this level through here, that point there and that point there, as you can see, before we go through this sideways period through here. And now we're really, really, really starting to pick up. So gold's getting pretty, 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 pretty exciting, guys, when it comes to a breakout soon. Um, but we are already into sort of a move. So uh, as you can see from here, what are, what are we getting from here, right? We're getting this up, 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 up. So we may get a bit of a breakout first. If we do get the breakout like that, then we're probably likely to come back, test this as support, and then we get ready to really, 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 really gain a bit of momentum from there. Make sense? So that's what I'm seeing there when it comes to the gold market as well. Moving on now through to silver. Very, 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 very strong movement. As I said before, I, I do expect silver to to start to have some more upside the movement. We are getting to a level of support and resistance up through here, but silver's definitely really starting to gain a lot of momentum. As you can see, it's creating a, a higher low through here, right up sideways and then up as well too. Um, and the, the thing that we can actually see here, right? We can actually see that we've actually had this higher low and then, and then we've actually had this really strong movement to the upside. So we're right at this level of resistance uh, and we've been going up for quite some time as well too. Let's actually bring on. Yeah, we're getting pretty far away from the moving average board too. So if we do have a bit more upside to come, there's a major, there's that major level of resistance up there around the $26 level. But once we actually break that, I think the big picture here, like this is, if we go back to the weekly chart here, this whole thing here, guys, is possibly one big bull flag as you can see from here so we could be really really starting to gain a lot of momentum when it comes to uh the silver market from there let's go look at the mining sector as well and the mining sector from there to there uh we can really see this head and shoulder play, play out very strong breakout today very strong breakout today low we did create this high low through here now uh and now we're actually breaking up to to, to the upside here with a lot of a lot of sort of momentum pushing past through here. So that's that GDX there. That tells me now, guys, looking at this level here that we have, let's do a projection now from there. Very strong breakout today. So we could possibly now start to see the metals mining, the mining sector, possibly start to run back up. The next level of resistance is possibly up through there somewhere. So that I would have to say that 33 to $34 level is probably the next stop of where the GDX is likely to go. Same for the GDXJ as well too, guys. Low, high, low, and a very strong move to the upside. So we're really, look at this here, now we're, look at this here, now we're starting to gain some, some really good momentum, right? This low, high, low. This is the very first high, low and breaking past previous highs. This is the very first time since pretty much the entire year that we've actually got this pattern here. What does that mean? Buyers are starting to really come back in, aren't they? Really, really, really come back in. SIL, we actually had what? We actually had a double bottom, didn't we? Double bottom from there to there. So that tells me now that the double bottom pattern, we're probably likely to see now see, uh, we're probably gonna get to that $10 mark. Possibly, possibly that, that's the, that $10 mark there is definitely um, the first target there, but there's also a bit of resistance up there on the $10.50 for the SILJ and the SIL, same sort of thing, this higher low, and away we go as well too. So we're really starting out, look, again, look at this here. This is the first time it's created a high low and a breaking pass. So the bull, there's, there's a new bull trend, brand new, a new bull trend in town when it comes to this, of having this very strong breakout. So there we go, traders. Hope this helps you out. If you would like to get uh, you know, well, I've opened up my private coaching program, guys. If you would like to get some private coaching from me for all of 2024 for 12 months, then that second link in the description, click on that, fill out the application form, guys, and I'll personally call you to see if you're a good fit. Talk to you soon, guys.